hi guys how are you all thank you for joining me in today's in today's um uh live friday night so please start um putting in your questions uh i'm just testing my audio now hi to top seven can you hear me so while waiting for um questions i might as well jump to our uh, to our uh, facebook page so we can start answering questions again if you just join in the uh, live please give in your questions on the comment section so i'll just type it in uh, please type your questions here okay hi to sai nilam thank you for dropping by okay let's start the question sai nilam is that uh, how you pronounce your name is solana in trouble um definitely not it's not in trouble so as we've said many times that the uh, current shoe prices is due to the massive uh uh, banning of China with their shoes so um, I'm expecting that um, there was so much minting that had happened in China and that's the reason why um, a lot of shoes were need to be sold at a really low price because basically they don't have no choice and I I'm thinking even if I'm in their shoes even if I put myself um, on, on their situation, I'm, I will do ba basically the same. I have no choice but just sell the shoes as soon as I can because um, as we know, they already put a deadline on when it will stop working. So uh, in saying that, I won't be surprised if uh, along the way, um, sooner or later, we'll still see um, cheap shoes, as, uh, cheap shoes, that I say, in, in the marketplace. But in saying that it's lucky for the um new car newcomers who are just new into the game so lucky for them because they can go in uh and join step and at a low price as compared to many of us okay so that's the answer to the first question if you are you just uh tune in please type in your comments or your questions on the comment box i will try as much as i can to um answer them and let's uh, say hello to uh how do you call your name madi shareg i hope we i pronounce that well hi to top seven a uh, question from uh, top seven is how we can earn GMT from step N. Okay, so as of the moment, the use case of uh, being able to earn GMT from step N is not yet um, activated, but it will be coming soon. So um, there's a lot of issues that the uh, developers need to address. Um, um, ASAP. That's why uh, they weren't able to um, activate or uh, make all the use cases of GMT possible, uh, more specifically on the GMT earning. But um, just to answer your questions, um, the first requirement is you should be able to level up your shoes to 30 in order for you to earn gmt but then again we need to wait we need to wait that the they will announce when will the actual uh, earning of gmt will going to happen so that's the answer okay hello to uh how do you pronounce that michele cose or michael cose uh hello from nathan alberto nice house nathan this is not my house as you can see if i move i'm disappearing so it's only a uh, default background from Streamyard. okay uh sign alarm again uh do you know anything about today's st step and major update um obviously i don't have any idea but 
I, I strongly suspect that the minting scroll is already part of this update because they want to address the minting farms to be stopped as soon as possible. But um, it's supposed to be finished by now. Uh, I will quickly check the app if it's already working. Uh, looks like it's not yet finished. As you can see on the phone, it's still um, um, on the maintenance. But in a few minutes, hopefully in a few uh, minutes time, we will be able to see what's new. It's uh, there's still uh, the app is still under maintenance. So we will see soon. We will see soon. So let's just be patient a few more minutes. So hopefully, hopefully um, we will get all the updates soon. So what else is the questions here from Saba Sabanadze? Guys, uh, pardon me if I don't pronounce your names properly. Uh, she said, or if I say he or she, please pardon me. Um, what and how will we earn in Marathon? Um, I don't have that specific um, details yet because obviously it's not yet um, announced. They're just talking that um, eventually uh, it will going to happen. But I assume it's either GST or GMT. So I don't know if there will be uh, other tokens or NFT prices. But I think it's safe to assume there will be um, GST or GMT earnings. From Mohammed Jassem, I have 30 shoes. The main shoes is Uncommon Jagger. Wow, good. And then he said... From Madi Shareg, what do you think about the new anti-cheat system? Um, let me know what's that anti-new cheat system because I don't know what you're trying to refer to. If you can explain what is that, then maybe I can react because I don't know the new anti-cheat system that Madi is talking about. From Sha Sharab, uh, how do you how do you pronounce that? Scrabu or Shrabu? uh he said do you think the gmt price will raise again definitely yes definitely yes we just need to be patient guys because again this china thing is a very big deal that we need to overcome um obviously the entire crypto market is also is also down at the moment Plus, the fathers, FUD, those who um, spread FUD, is all also adding fuel to the fire. So, but I firmly believe GMT will eventually rise again. Uh, if you're not aware, I had a video yesterday. I said one, there's a lot of um, use cases of GMT which is not launched yet. Can you imagine once all those GMT uh, use cases will already be implemented? Definitely, there will be uh, demand for uh, GMT. And as you know, GMT will be shared across all the realms, whether the third, the fourth, the fifth will come. It will be shared across the chain. So basically, the demand will eventually increase. Uh, another question from Broke Age Vlogs. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you, mate? From... Uh, how they pronounce this? Kong Kongju Kongu Siva Gonda. This is good time to enter step N or wait of July fifteen. All right. Um, I always say um, there is a big possibility that the prices of shoes or token will still keep diving up to July fifteen, but but. Um, if you wait for, for that, you will already lose how many days? Almost more than a month. You know, by the time that if you had started now and bought now, whatever the price difference between now and July 15, you will be able to compensate that by, you know, walking, jogging, or running. So, same thing that had happened to me when I when I first buy my first um, BSC Walker, it was like four days ago and it was still, I thought 2 BNB was already cheap during that time, but I was wrong. It went down further, right? It went, Walker became 1.5. I think it became, even became 1.4 or 1.3 at some point in time. But, but since I already started grinding, um, walking four days ago, the price difference of 
uh, by the time I bought my uh, BNB sneaker to now, I already recovered that cost. So I, I hope you're, you're, you're getting what I'm saying that possible that the price will still go down. But if you start earning now, you will already start earning the needed GST to, you know, and who knows, who knows, um, it may recover earlier than July 15. And if, you know, I, I always say no one knows when what will happen to the market. What No, no one knows. Let's go um, from Luis Montero. Greetings from Amsterdam. Hello to all you beautiful people there from Amsterdam. From John Edios. No, it's not. Uh, I wonder what uh, he comment uh, what he meant. No, it's not. Please uh, explain. From Mohammed Jasem, um, he said, "I had thirty shoes. Main one is uncommon jugger. How can I maximize the reward to three hundred? Uh, I think Mohammed here is asking how he can um, uh, increase the GST earning cap or the maximum limit of GST that you can earn." Um, you can refer to my other videos. I had a uh, videos about that. But basically, you need to, uh, in summary or in a nutshell, you need to burn, I think, 300 GMT for you to increase your daily GST cap or GST limit to 300 per day. There's actually a table that I had shown there. How much do you need to burn in order for you to increase um, GST Per bracket so just check that out um, from Sinalem no mom it increased to eight hours maintenance oh my god this is what I'm talking before uh, that's why I always suggest to burn all those energies before maintenance because usually it takes longer or sometimes even if they finish it on time um, usually it becomes down again when everyone else will start walking at the same time. So I'm not actually shocked. Let's read the next comment. Uh, from Madi Shareg, they had the tweet about the update. Let's go to Twitter. Let's go to Twitter. Let's go to Twitter. And let's uh, check what they had to say in Twitter. Let's just quickly check. Well, let's search uh, at step N. I think this is the official. Let's see. Let's see. Did they just announce now or before? Ah, this one. Step N beta phase 5 upgrade on anti-cheating. Ah, okay. So this is the anti-cheating. Oh, an hour ago. An hour ago. Sorry, I'm I'm not in Twitter an hour ago. But please let's let's check this out. Seems interesting. Announcement: Step and Beta Phase Four upgrade on anti cheating. This up update is about our cutting edge um, artificial intelligence or AI model to stop cheating. This thread explains the upgrade. Oh, it's a long it's a long announcement. What is cheating? Cheating is basically the manipulation of game mechanics or loopholes to attain an unfair advantage over others. Examples of cheating in step end, GPS spoofing, faking your location by attempting to trick the app, motion simulation, use of devices meant to simulate authentic movement, multi-mining, holding multiple phones at once with the step and app open. Cheaters risk artificially inflating the token and NFT prices. Throwing the entire ecosystem out of sync. Furthermore, it is plain unethical. This is why at step N, addressing cheating is our utmost priority. Through the deep learning and artificial intelligence, our developers have been studying the patterns surrounding GPS tracking, motion sensor, and health data for months. The end product is a cutting edge M2E anti cheating system. After three months of intense development, studying the data, and training of our machine learning models, we proudly present SMAC, or stands for Step Ends Model for Anti-Cheating. Wow. How it works? By deploying cutting-edge machine learning model, data is cross-referenced with our internal standard. If something is amiss, the user will be flagged internally. The system also detects any third-party script like bots, once identified, they will be disconnected. Whoa. 
Penalties. Now, this is the interesting one. Penalties. Users that cheat will not receive any rewards in that session and incur durability losses. In future updates, we will progressively reveal more penalties. P.S. Moonwalking is not cheating. Okay, so I hope that's loud and clear. Once the uh, AI detects that we are cheating, there will be no GST, obviously. And incurred durability loss so it's a tough it's very tough punishment because you won't earn gst at the same time your durability will decrease more you know that um 100 over 100 before for example if you're like uh for example at 10 energy you know that you always have uh 12 over 100 decay now it will increase even the further if if you will be caught cheating let's continue disclaimer punishments may not be met out immediately users might notice an ethical earning method still work as a step and intends to provide initial leniency cheaters will be flagged internally and if the cheating behavior persists penalized accordingly in the future so at least a sigh of relief for many of us so it's just a warning at the moment but they will already start recording all those cheating um, habits that will be detected on the app. So be very, very careful. So at least they're still lenient. They're saying they're still lenient. So we don't know when will they exactly impose those punishment. And then the last part of the tweet. You may read more about our anti-cheating rollout here. So possibly I may I may create a separate video, uh, hopefully tomorrow, about this, so we can tackle more in depth. But yes, it's uh, for someone asking, what's my opinion? Well, for me, for me, all right, guys, just for me, all right. Don't don't, don't um, take this personally if. Uh, you're affected since i know for myself that i'm not cheating for whatsoever then for me this is all right this is okay but maybe for those if any of you is uh, will be watching this video and you think you're doing something which falls on those um uh cheating that they just um announced on this um twitter then I think I, si I highly suggest to, you know, be fair, be, be honest, and, and walk, jog, or run accordingly. Otherwise, you will be risking your expensive assets to be being banned or, although they said you will not just earn um, tokens, but, you know, don't waste the day that you're running and you're not earning. So... In short, to make it short so we can proceed with the other questions, let's be fair and do it properly, guys. That's all I can say. All right, let's proceed to other um, questions uh, from Luis Montero. Do you think the minting scrolls will help with the minting farms and stabilizing the shoe prices? Um, for the minting farms, yes. You know why? Because... Uh, People who will be minting are now forced or required to walk, jog, or run before they can mint. Unlike in the past, you can just buy thousands of shoes, level them up to five, and then mint, and then sell. And we know that it's being exposed with what had happened to China. And it was sad to say that, I don't know, this is only my own opinion. I think, I think maybe almost half, almost half of the total shoes in Step N is in China. I don't know. That's only my guess because there's so many shoes being sold at the moment and like massive, very massive. I don't think that that will be owned in different parts of the world. Maybe, yes, some of the fathers, those who, 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 who panic and sold, but I think majority of those that are selling at really low price came from China. So in saying that, I really think that the scrolls will help. However, however, it depends. It depends how many energy you need to consume before you can have a scroll. Because I think if they only said one, you only consume one, I think that's very achievable, right? But I think if they say 
like like you know when for example getting an activation code you need to walk or use 10 energy i think that's a, that's a really hard hard um cap for you to earn a, a minting scroll but again after this update we will know on the second part of his question he said does it stabilize the shoe prices that one it's it's hard to say at the moment you know why again because this china sales of shoes is still not yet over second the bear market is still not over third there's still those um uh, fad people who who still sells but i think if you remove all those three components i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure the shoe prices will stabilize okay let's go to the next comment uh where is it uh wait i'll just scroll up i'm lost uh uh -huh. from mardi bartido ma'am good pm can we create solana wallet in step and using private key from existing phantom accounts aside from importing using said seed phrase to be honest i haven't tried so i cannot say yes or no but if you can comment that question in our facebook page or or or, or on this video later on then i can research for you okay but i think i've heard about this before but i will get back to you so if you can just post that in our facebook page or on the comment section of this um, video then i can get back to you from yelsin galip uisal with five energy may i earn loot box uh yes but there are some specific lack attributes that you need to have um in the past i know that you need to have a minimum of luck attributes of 16 and above and that will um, give you a very high chance to get a loot box for me i always have loot box because i have like five plus energy and uh, like really high luck in one of my shoes i think 28 so i always have loot box from flix cfn what is coming in the new update uh we already uh discussed uh, answered that before we don't know exactly what but we just need to wait for the updates to happen because they didn't announce what is in there all i know is i'm pretty sure the minting scroll is already part of this update from mr bixby mom can i use step n in one device and can use instagram and other device at the same time while walking i don't know why the i don't know why you said use instagram in other device um just to clear it out guys they said the developer said two accounts in two device so i interpret that statement of one account per device so I'm not really sure if it's allowed to use two accounts in one device. So, what else? From Glick Hunter. Nice green screen. Thank you. Uh, from Peter Humor. Greetings from Santa Cruz, California. Hello there. Uh, from sign uh, nilam what will we do gst now hold or convert usdc you know what i do guys um i do 50 50 i convert to usdc usdc half and then keep some and it depends on the flow of the market i might convert them all to usdc but if you're a long-term holder then it's all right to uh, hold um gst but at the moment i'm doing a 50 50 i always whatever is my net gst i convert half of it to usdc and keep the us uh and keep 50 percent gst okay we will not um, answer the new update anymore we already answered that from yugi for newcomer is it difficult to mint 
after the update cost of main scroll uh, we need to wait what is the requirement of the scroll how many energy do we need to use for us to be to uh, earn one scroll so it could be one energy two energy three energy so we just need to wait a few more hours guys and we will know i'm pretty sure they will make a formal announcement as to how many um energy we need to use before we can create a scroll so just be patient a few more hours guys uh from sai nilam um please tell if we invest 300 gmt for increasing gst limit how much we can able to get gst per day um i will show you again this um website it's called the uh, step and that guide so for those who doesn't know this site this is pretty cool very good approximation of how much you can earn uh, gst depending on the number of uh, shoes you have what's the shoes type is it walker and uh, walker jogger or runner uh, is it uh, uncommon rare or uh, epic and you need to encode as well what's the uh, level of your sneaker at the moment and then how many daily uh, energy you have and then put the um, efficiency put the efficiency and then click optimize that will be how much you can earn per gst but but if um for example you increase your uh, daily gst cap to uh, 300 then you have an opportunity to maximize that if you can but i'm telling you now let's say for example me i have a one uncommon uh, i have one uncommon jogger shoes in solana i inserted uh, as you've seen in my um, video about sockets and gems um, i was able to insert uh level two efficiency there and one level one efficiency gems in there that makes my um uh gst earning maximum of i'm at level 15 um uh, at 110 gst per day but but i didn't increase my gst cap or limit to 300 you know why because i can't even i can't even jug up to the 50 percent of my gst cap meaning i'm always less than 50 so why why will i increase my gst earning if i cannot even maximize the 110 limit that i have so in short make sure that you can um, it doesn't doesn't mean that you have a 300 gst cap it doesn't mean you will get that full amount it still depends on your speed the le um, level um of your shoes the type of your shoes your, your gps so it still depends on on how many energy you have so yes that's the that's the answer to your question from alec you are looking good today thank you very much mate uh from flix flixy fn what is come um we've already answered this from Muhammad Jassem, I have 30 shoes. Wow. Level 30. And the capacity is 300, but reward is 200 GST. There is incorrect distribution of attribute points. What should I do to increase the reward? Is it only gems? High level? Well, because your shoes is already at level 30, it means um, you cannot redistribute the points yet because the use case of gmt is not yet active in terms of redistributing the um the the points so your only choice now is if you want to increase further your 200 gst yes you're right you better um put a gem if you have a efficiency socket so i, I if i were you you refer to my previous video because over there i i teach you how to calculate the new attributes once you use say a level one gem or level two gem so that will give you an idea if it's worth investing level one or level two gems also 
um, at least with that, you will know if level 1 is enough or you may want to do level 2. So if I strongly suggest you review that uh, video that I had so you will have an idea how much attributes will you um, increase. And you can use again step and that guide to calculate the extra boosting of your attributes. From let's check more from Marty Bartido. Mom is holding two phones while jogging is not allowed in step and yes, it's not allowed. It was mentioned um, just on that Twitter update that we read. That's one of those that will be penalized. So avoid using two phones at the same time because again the artificial artificial intelligence mechanics is so precise now they can easily see or detect if you're um, using uh, two phones at a time i think it's very easy because you will have the same steps same location same same speed it that will be i think very easy to detect if you're using two phones at the same time from Osman Hizir, thanks for very useful information. No worries. From Shrabo, what will be your strategy when the comfort will be more and more important for the GMT earning? Should I develop at the beginning efficiency and resilience and comfort later? Um well there's a lot of strategy about the comfort earning. Some people they have a specific shoes they don't use it but they just keep upgrading the shoes to level 30 because we all know that you can only earn gmt if your shoes will reach level 30 and of course again we need to wait that the developers will activate that feature before we can use that uh, level 30 comfort attributes now other people because we know that that will still uh, far way to go before they can activate the GMT earnings. So what other people are doing is they just um, increase their efficiency attributes and resiliency and keep earning GST. Because we know that one of the uh, GMT use case is um, being able to reallocate or redistribute um, attribute points to another attributes in the future. So even even if we put say for example uh, maybe 90 percent of our points in uh, efficiency and 10 percent for the resiliency in the future we can move the efficiency to the comfort however just note that it may be expensive to uh, we don't know how many gmt we will need to burn in order for us to redistribute so that's also another consideration that you need to take so I think for me soon, soon I would I would want to just level up one shoes and just put all the attributes on the common, uh, so that I don't need to reallocate again in the future. So at least the good thing with that is I can just keep leveling it up while I'm using another shoes for GST earning, and that's actually what Barn Dog usually suggests to have different shoes for different um, reasons. Especially when the marathons will come in, we will have a different shoes for marathon. Marathon, you, you need to have a really big um, resiliency attributes on it, right? And in the future, they will buff, they will enhance the luck, what we can do with luck. In the future, we will have one shoes just for luck only. Or if you're happy to do everything, then you can, you can use any shoes and just reallocate accordingly, right? Let's go to the next comment. From Osman Hizir, how do you future of step N? Um, uh, I posted a video yesterday. I, I mentioned there that these are some of the seven things that I look forward to in uh, step N. And as you can see, uh, I think step N is still a very new in the market, still very new Web3 um, application. And I think 
the future of Stepen is really big in terms of its um, marketability, in terms of its adoption. You know, we're, we're just six months old. And can you imagine once that DEX, once that Alchemy Pay is already being integrated, it will be easy to buy and sell shoes. And, and we can use our GMT to purchase any anything we like in the store or online. You know, there, there's a lot of things that's still about to come for Step N. So I firmly believe what Step N can do, how it can be uh, marketed to different um, people, and especially with its actual application of exercise, I think uh, monetarily and, uh, uh, you know, carbon, carbon emission help and exercise uh, fiscal well-being i think it has a really big future if you're about to uh, if you want to know my opinion about step in okay let's go to another comment here uh, so he said next two to three months um well, I forecast that within the next two, three months, um, the prices will be more stable. I assume that the China shoes will be gone by then. And uh, I assume that the bear market will be over as well. Hopefully, no more other uh, war will going to happen. So, hopefully, I'm just hoping that it will be more stable during that time and more events will come in. More chances to, uh, more demands for our token. More marketing. So that's what I see in the next two to three months. Okay, let's go to the next comment. Uh, where it is, bear with me. Uh, from G Waste, no, I tried it. Yes, you can. Uh, from Samurai Gaming, we already, uh, uh, let's answer again. Is it allowed to have two accounts in one phone? Like use one account full energy, then log out and log into the other account and use second account energy. We already um, answered this one. We said uh, developers mentioned two accounts, two phones. So I assume they mean one account, one phone. So I cannot uh, answer that as I'm not from the developer side, but that's my interpretation when they said, two accounts two phones from patel rushi nice home kikapi no this is not my house it's only a background <laughs> from gway said it's not recommended to have two accounts in one phone uh, from meng sen when is gmt earning coming should i get a comfort shoe to prepare for it um, according to the developers, it may come at a later time, so I expect possibly around Q3. Um, it will take a few days to level up your shoes to level 30, so you can you might as well start um, um, leveling up one shoe and use another shoe for GST um, earning, and at least by the time that it will be uh, activated, you're already there. But I still suggest that do. Um, have one shoe for GST earning and one comfort shoe. So by the time comes, you have an option. You have an option if you want GST earning only or GMT earning only. Or you can do both. You can use one GMT earner one day and you can use GST earner one day. So there's a lot of strategy that you can use. From Osman, he's here. Shall we start preparing our shoes for GMT earnings? Likewise, leveling up shoes and putting all our points in comfort instead of efficiency. Because comfort would be replacing efficiency. So it's the same answer that I gave to Meng Sen. From Ali Khan, mom, please highlight 2FA issue if someone lost 2FA but have a secret key. Okay, um, you know, guys, I, I, I've been wanting to uh, address this 2FA issue that I've been receiving a couple of times about questions. You know, I tried to research online and sad to say, I found something online that says once you, you lost your 2FA backup key, the only thing that you need to do is do uh, a new account and relink link again your 2fa into your new um two-factor authentication it means you need to link again the step n account to the new 2fa but 
the problem is once you you open your step and account it may ask you for the old 2fa so in short your only chance is to um, email the step and um, support um, for them to verify if you are the true owners of those shoes so bad luck for those who got scammed um, I don't know if you can still recover your your shoes because I think most of the people who are looking for their um, 2FA are those who were scammed. Now, if you're not scammed and you truly honestly say that you just lost your um, 2FA, then your only chance is to email the step and um, discord because according to Google, when I tried to research it, there's no way that you can recover if you didn't have the backup key so in saying that i just want to remind again everyone that guys step and devs receive thousands of emails per day and i remember me myself like early april early april i think around first week of april i sent an issue and i think it took me two weeks two weeks before they answered my question so i can't imagine nowadays with the thousands of emails that's coming in from the from the discord server and from the app i don't think you will get an answer in three weeks i don't know i don't know how they do it because i can't imagine so many people the problem here is they always say this in the in, in the amas as well that so many people are trying to email them whether it's a legit question legitimate question or not so now those who has real issues or has real concerns need to wait because there's a lot of people asking like uh, can I use two phones in one account? Like, you know, those repeat repetitive questions that can easily be, should have been, you know, answered within the um, uh, Facebook page of uh, or Discord um, server of Step N. But some simple questions are also part of those feedback um, comments in the app. So in short, guys, when you log a question, please wait, please wait. I don't think, I think, it's sad to say it might take three weeks or more before they can go to your um to your um account. Uh, I to, I mean to your feedback. So uh, I think I think the devs are hiring more people to do the, the the support, but I don't know how much one person can can because obviously when when someone emailed like this, right? I lost my two FA. Obviously, they need to check how how long will it take for them to check whether you you really have the you really own the shoes so that's that's all i can say guys with the 2fa so i hope it's now loud and clear from yugi good day kika p from dubai god bless you more you too god bless from i'll just quickly drink guys quickly drink from dario um omergic the step and guide for me is cool, but the numbers are like minus GST of what it says. Uh, well, step and guide is uh, as from the word itself. It's only a guide, but for me, it, it's very close. It's very close. And of course, when we walk, right, when we walk, there's a lot of factors that needs to be taken into consideration. You know, step and guide is assuming that your GPS is okay, that you are within the specified speed, and in reality, it doesn't work. Sometimes your 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 GPS is bad. Sometimes you go over the speed limit, or sometimes you go slower. Some <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, guys, I need to clear my throat. I think I've been speaking too much. <clears throat> okay, hopefully my throat is better now. So where am I? Yeah, the step and guide. It's, it's only um, <clears throat> approximate. So 
yes um in reality we 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 could be walking slower or faster so that will also affect your gst earning but again if you're for example if you're new and you don't know how many will you earn say you bought these shoes then at least it will give you a very rough estimate from sandro meshki what do you think about the update of the app we already answered that from vince tang how to get mint an uncommon out of two common there's a three percent chance only that you will get uncommon it's random so no one can predict so it's by luck actually okay from webster tubio hi hello from boris minakov hello to be honest i gave four energy oh uh, you have four energy okay from dario or magic won't they put the respective attribute attribute option for gmt so we can put all in gmt um i can't fully understand the question won't they put the respective attribute option for gmt so we can put all in gmt i think in the uh, what you're trying to say here is there's an option in the future to burn gmt for you to redistribute or allocate points whether it's comfort or resilience or luck so that will be available in the future from boris minakov i have show on level 22 he has a shoe on level 22 i get 38 gst with level 2 efficiency gem i got only 39 mm. i get 38 gst with level 2 i only got 39 i'm not sure what you're trying to say here if you can explain again i think you're saying that without level 2 it's 38 and then after you put level 2 it becomes 39 which is very odd it should not be like that from atulja where to invest bnb or soul um both are okay both are okay um just the prices of the shoes is different for solana and bnb so i hope you had checked the price and also the big difference is the gst price between the two because they are two different gst so you better check that one as well um previously before this bear market the gst earning in the bnb was so high that's why so many people shift so many people people shift in the bnb but now that the gst also decreased in the bnb perhaps um it's okay to go either on the solana or the bnb for me personally uh, i just think the bnb has a more stable um uh, network so if i will use the network as basis i will go definitely with uh, bnb because from experience solana network is always congested it's so hard to bring out or bring in the solana token in the solana network but since the uh, shoe prices are lower in solana so it's still good better in solana if you want to have many many shoes okay so what else uh, let's check the other comments uh from Bruno Vidak. Oh, guys, by the way, please do my favor if you can please share this video to your uh, Facebook account or to uh, Step and Facebook pages or Twitter so that more people can uh, join us. Um, okay, another question here from Bruno Vidak. What is the difference between me holding two phones or my wife hold the phone next to me? Actually, it's allowed. It is allowed that two person can walk side by side with one phone each. That is allowed. You know why? The system can detect that the two of you have different step, different speed. It is very unlikely that the two of you will have the same speed and the same uh, steps 
even if you're walking side by side. I'm pretty sure one will always be faster with two steps by the other if you um, if you uh, tally the total um, steps and speed. So that's absolutely fine. Because, you know, if you're holding two phones in your hand, that's very easy to detect because you only have same steps and same speed and exactly the same location. That will be, I think, very, very easy to detect. So from Hussein Hassan Ali, is Step N completely depend on Solana? If Solana is in trouble, will Step N also be in trouble? Um, no, Step N is not solely dependent on Solana. As you can see, there's also a BNB uh, chain. And I think that's the reason why they want many realms or many uh, chains so that people has options. So one chain could be down, one could be okay, or all of them could be okay, or all of them could be down a bit. So that's the beauty of having many realms. So, you know, um, different movements, different markets, different um, uh, use cases. So, no, um, definitely um, Stepan is not in trouble. Again, don't forget, this is just a bear market and this is just an effect of the China news that was... Uh... Can you imagine, guys, if that China ban is not happening, if they didn't make any announcement? I think we could have moved on by now. From Ben Friedman, you have a beautiful house. What country are you in? Um, as we said, this is not my house. It's it's only a stream yard. Stream yard default background for um, live uh, live um, viewing. Maybe later, if at the end, guys, I'll show you my real background. I think uh, you've seen this. If you've seen my videos before, you can see that I'm my background is a kitchen. <laughs> I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Um, from Vince Tang, what are the chances to mint an uncommon out of two common? I've minted three, not one uncommon. My friend has two minted two uncommons. Again, it's only 3% chance. So your friend just got lucky and you are unlucky. Can you imagine me? I've already done 19 mint and still zero uncommon. From Khan... Can Can Man. Hi, hi from Ireland. Very informative as usual. Keep up the good work. I am learning a lot from your videos. Thank you very much. And also, please don't forget to like and comment. It helps a lot in my videos. Thank you so much, guys. From Gaurav Kalon. I have lost my account in Step N and nobody is responding from support. I am so depressed lost my parents had earned money i don't know what happened gaurav if you were scammed sad to say there's no way that the developers can recover your shoes because usually the scammers sell the shoes straight away and um, I think this is one of the uh, reasons why uh, cryptocurrency was was not allowed by governments in the first place because it's decentralized it it cannot be controlled no identification so anyone can just steal anyone can just scam as compared to a usual bank where it's regulated right you can trace who exactly stole your money online if someone stole it online so yes i don't know what had happened to you gaurav if you got scammed unfortunately uh we need to move on i got scammed myself big time before so i know how it feels i know exactly how it feels but again it's a sad truth that it's happening and sad to say so many people got scammed so that's why the developers always say do not do not entertain any dm no dm from developers no one will going to offer you no one is promotion or any promo is is not valid except from the official step and announcement page so if anything is too good to be true if someone offer you definitely one thousand percent it's a scam so i hope we all be careful from Falcao Alex, any hopes to get my ROI? I did start three weeks ago. I will still run. I think if you keep 
um, doing what you're doing, Falcao. Just keep grinding the GST. Eventually, eventually, you will get there. It's just really a bad timing at the moment because of these China issues banning. But eventually, uh, GST, GMT, and the shoes prices will recover. We, we just really need to focus on uh, at the moment, just keep grinding and avoiding FUD, avoiding going to this um, um, chat room where they just spread fake news and negativity. Uh huh. From uh, Io Jiaming, your house is nice again, guys. This is just a background, not a not mine. Once uh, from Iowa Jiaming, once GMT earnings starts, will GST fall in value? Um, I don't think so because um, GST we always need GST to level up to mean there's a lot of use cases of GMT, so I don't think. GST will fall, uh, and also I'm pretty sure the developers they're keen to adjust the game to give more burning and demand for the GST. So I don't think GST will eventually fall. From Osman Hizir, is this bearish market low prices? Which type of shoes amount of investment you would suggest to invest at the moment? There's no specific amount that I will suggest except, except only invest something which is extra. Like do not invest your savings, do not invest your um, emergency fund. I mean, just allocate something extra from your money that in case, in case something happened like this, you can keep the money there and do not sell. I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say here. They always say uh, only invest what you can afford to lose. For me, that's a very negative connotation of, of, of you know, investment. Uh, that's why I rephrase that into just invest your extra money that can allow you to stay on your investment for a while just in case it will go down like this. And to be honest with you, I said, you know, Axe Infinity, I've been there for almost um, 10 months and I didn't sell because it was down. So I'm willing to wait because that money that I put there is only an extra money. So I, I won't sell at a loss because I know eventually something will come up. But again, no one knows when. But I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm not in a hurry to sell my AXS token. I will just leave it there. Maybe... Maybe if two years and still nothing happening, man, maybe that's the time I will accept my loss, right? But given that, you know, play to earn, move to earn, um, move to earn concepts are very new in crypto world. So there's still a lot of adjustment that needs to be done. Plus, obviously, competition is there. So, yes, that's all I can say. Um, just invest um, um, uh, an extra money that you can afford to keep it stay there for a while. Okay, from SPJ68, the three-hour maintenance message just got updated to an eight-hour maintenance. Greetings from Switch, by the way. You know, guys, G, eight hours maintenance, it must be a massive, big update. So, good for me because I'm about to sleep. So, when I wake up, I'm hoping for good news. <laughs> Luckily, I drain my energy, so I'm not worried, you know, I'm not worried that my energy will overlap. Uh, greetings from Switzerland, not Switch. <laughs> okay, from Dario Omerdick, as a jogger shoe, does running at the max speed gives more GST than when it says walking or at five, or at five, yes. Um, they always say, um, it's, it's, it's a recommendation, should I say, that you should always maximize the um, speed of your shoes. For example, walker is between 1 to 6. You will earn definitely more GST if you're always hitting that 6. But if you go beyond 6, that's also bad, right? And for your question, yes, for jogger, you should be at least, I think jogger is between um, 4 to 7 speed is it or four to yeah i think four to seven or four to eight 
So, whatever is the maximum speed of your shoes, just aim for that and be consistent. It will definitely give you more GST. Okay. Oops, let's check more. Guys, I will just stay for another 15 minutes. So, whatever we will finish in 15 minutes, um, I will need to um, um, stop on that. Um, what else should I say? Um, please let me know on the comments section if you just if you want us to have um, uh, Friday every Friday same time uh, like this um, live session. I think I find this very helpful to to our subscribers because um, I can directly address the questions that sometimes I cannot answer on the comment question. So please let me know on the comment box if you like a regular weekly live. Uh, Q and A like this, and of course it will help also those who cannot attend to just review uh, what we had discussed so far, so that they will also know the answers. Okay, where are we now?